and welcome back everybody this is the uh, second one of the mince pies I'm going to be uh, looking at or should I say trying and it's not a puff pastry one but it's the only one I could uh, find in that shop and um, that is the rule uh, one mince pie from every shop and if it's not a um, puff pastry one, which are generally nicer, and well, for my taste, they actually work a lot better. They hold together a lot better. The one I'm looking at today is this one from, um, oops, sorry, got ripped. From little, little, um, you can't buy these individually, um, but like the re like the rest, uh, these come, well, not in a box, because you have to actually put them in a bag, they're loose. So, um, when you're picking, if you're picking these things up, uh, just be get sure, yeah, I was going to say just be careful, but just be sure you'd get ones that are intact because some of these are far from intact um, and definitely when you're put if you're putting it when you're putting it in the microwave you take this off it's um a foil case but uh yeah it doesn't really hold together this probably won't hold together that well and yeah, as you can see, it may not be pleasant because um, there's not really any trace of sugar on it. It's just like a, I don't know, plain short crust pastry. Like normally, you would get a sweetened pastry, but, and you, you see some sugar over the top of it. Which would help. But uh, yeah, we'll see now what this is like. So let's get this bad boy to the microwave after we've carefully. Yeah, there's crumbs everywhere already, you can see. Taking this to. Oh god, it doesn't even look that great. Taking this over to the microwave. Again, 30 seconds is um, the maximum I would put that in for um, for this type of one, possibly 20, because the stuff inside that mince pie, the sweet mince, is going to be roasting. So, go to your microwave, hit it for 20, and let's get this thing going. This microwave, by the way, which I didn't mention last week, is an 800 watt one, so uh, mileage may vary soon. But generally, 20 seconds is all you need. And now we're ready to actually taste this thing. Let's move the camera in a little bit closer. As you can. Now, this pastry is really really uh, thin or not exactly thin um, should I say not exactly stable when it's been heated up which is why um, I, I can't really recommend um, this type which many would say is a traditional type of mince uh, pie as the one you go out and get a lot of but enough procrastinating. What does this thing taste like? Yeah, let's hope I don't burn my mouth off. Alright. Nope. Ah. Oh 
Marco. Ja. Yeah. <sighs> well, the mints inside is all right. It's nice and sweet. Just perfect. And it doesn't have that overly overpowering taste of brandy which can make many mince pies unpleasant yeah what it's slightly overpowered by is um this short crust pastry that is in no way sweet oh i mean after you've got the taste of the the sweet mints and sort of throw me off. Uh, the pastry. Uh, uh, I can only imagine that's what cardboard would taste like. See, yeah, that's not good. That pastry is not good. Not good at all. Uh, could I recommend these? No. Not really. I would only get these ones if you're stuck for um, nothing else to buy. Or no, or no other mince pies to get the first time of year. Well, definitely that, that mince pie from Lidl, or Little or whatever you call it, has to be the last one. The very, 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 very bottom of the pile. Do not buy it. There are plenty of better ones out there. Oh, anyway, I'm going to sign off. I don't know, maybe, I don't know what, to, if I'll finish this off, but, um, I'll see you again next time. Oh, oh what dev, one that's bound to be, well, the mince pie is bound to be better than this thing. 580p? It's not even worth that.